couple of years ago I purchased this Harbor Freight number 91130 motorized router tail. I was real happy with the um, quality of the flatness of the top and the fence system and guards and everything else but never happy with the way the router bits mounted or the motor actually fit in the table. Um, this is the motor that I removed from. It's one horsepower I think but if you look the collars are actually buried down into the end of the router and it always was very hard to adjust. It actually would fill up with sawdust at times and make it impossible to get the wrenches in. So my solution was to simply remove the motor from the table and the, the mounting plate. Um, if you look down here, there's a variable speed control on this table along with the switch. And what I did, the first thing I did is I cut off the wire from the motor and I actually attached a plug to the variable speed control so it could be used for any router motor that I put on there. Okay, then what you have to do is you have to remove the four corner mounting screws that mount the um, whole assembly into the table. And once you do that, you can pick the old assembly out. And if you look in here, they did a pretty good job of making it. There's actually about a half inch clearance, so you can put a pretty thick plate in here. And there's also jack screws all around for leveling the plate up. So it is a pretty good made table that can be modified. Now these are all the um, parts and gizmos that were part of the table and the adjustment mechanism and they all filled up with sawdust so I think that was really a big part of the problem. So I just removed these and these are all basically scrapped now. Hopefully I'll find something to do with the router motor in the future though. Okay, next what I did is I took and I duplicated the existing base in a piece of 6061 quarter inch aluminum flat plate to um, be my new router mounting surface and that actually has a uh, provision for a Bosch router on the bottom of it. And um, this is the replacement plate to uh, make the router table much better, easier to use. Okay, I used my Eastwood powder coating kit to put a coat of blue powder coat on the plate. But the next thing that you do is you drop, drop the plate into the table. And um, once you set it in the table there are these little adjustment set screws that you have to adjust to flush the plate perfectly with the rest of the table. So that's all done and um, now all they have to do is put the four corner screws in and I have a real nice flat tabletop. To um, be able to use big bits I machine this opening slightly oversized so it'll take a larger bit and then what I basically did is I made some plastic inserts that drop in based on the different size bits you're using to keep you a little bit safer. Now the um, fence assembly just sort of slides in grooves and held in place with a couple of screws so that goes back on. Um, come with some nice feather boards that work great and all of these fence pieces Actually, if I can loosen this are adjustable you just loosen this groove and you can adjust for the different size bits and also to make the dust collection work properly so really it's a pretty good table once you make this modification to it to be able to use a standard router Okay, next what I do is I take the um, router and I plug it into the plug that I put on this electrical box. And now, as you can see, the... Um, oops, we have to turn the router switch on.
The last thing I did is I put a little bracket off the fence with a hand screw to adjust it. That allows me to drop in a one of those cheap desk lights from Kmart or Walmart or whatnot. Now this really allows me to get some pretty good light on the area that I'm working on and um, didn't cost a whole lot. Okay, so there you have it. This is uh, what I did to my Harbor Freight 91130 router table to make it fill my needs a little bit better. And it basically is a good, good flat top to start with and um, a nice high stand. So now I'm happy with it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.